I'm Shayna Hardy. I'm from Montgomery, Alabama, and I received my Bachelor's of Science and my Master's of Science degrees at Tuskegee University. I began the um, graduate program here at Purdue um, fall 2011. Our graduate program is the Purdue University Interdisciplinary Life Science Program. One thing I really like about Pulse, which is what we call the Interdisciplinary Life Science Program here at Purdue, is that you have the ability to rotate between several different departments, so you're not tied down to one department being a part of such a interdisciplinary program. So that's one thing that I have been able to benefit from, the ability that I could rotate with different uh, PIs and professors in different departments and be exposed to uh, a, a more diverse uh, group of research projects. So um, through that program, I was able to find the lab that I am in now, which is um, Dr. Robert Galen's lab, and he is a part of the Medicinal Chemistry and Molecular Pharmacology Department. So being that I'm in Pulse, I get the benefits of being in Pulse as a graduate student and also being a graduate student in the MCMP program that's in the College of Pharmacy. Also, what I like about Pulse is uh, I am a part of the Pulse uh, graduate student organization, which is sort of our government, and through Pulse, we're able to put together programs, um, social programs, and academic programs for uh, the students that are a part of our organization, a part of our graduate program. So in the Pulse GSO, I'm a, um, the Pulse uh, student representative, uh, a part of the larger umbrella, which is Purdue Graduate Student Government Association. So in that, I get to serve as a senator, and I kind of know what's going on in the state of graduate students here at Purdue. So through Pulse, I was able to be exposed to that. Another really cool thing about Pulse is the Science in, school, science in Schools initiative. And in the Science in Schools initiative, um, we get the opportunity to go to to, um, an elementary school where we introduce very young kids to science and um, get them excited about uh, life sciences. I study um, what is called mRNA processing bodies and these bodies are where mRNAs go to be degraded and I discovered that these processing bodies may be exploited by the cancer cell particularly when the cancer cell um, is trying to find a way to move and metastasize um, it exploits these bodies to kind of control cell fate and to protect it from different things that would normally allow the cell to go or to undergo death. So um, these processing bodies are looking to be or seem to be exploited, and so I'm studying sort of how they are regulated um, through post-transcriptional modifications. The most obvious thing to uh, my research project is that it does have a translational aspect to it. And that translational aspect would be um, how it may benefit uh, cancer research as a whole and how we treat cancer. So um, that is the most obvious translational benefit to towards my research. It is biomedical research, so it is for the purpose of treating disease. So um, in terms of a social justice component, there's no clear lines of social justice component in my research. However, um, I am a minority graduate student, so in my spare time, I guess, I, um, I sort of participate in a lot of social justice issues as it relates to minorities in STEM. So I'm very active in um, recruitment and retention for minorities in graduate programs and as well as minorities in undergraduate STEM programs. I'm a research assistant, so I'm an RA, which means I'm fully supported by my PI. And basically, I come in and, um, by like nine o'clock in the morning and I start my day by checking my emails and then I start to plan my experiments. And then um, once my experiments are planned, um, 
start to set them up or run an assay or as you can see right now I'm extracting DNA so I'm doing several different experiments throughout the day and towards the end of the day um, I sort of wrap it up by um, rather writing up my results or um, or preparing for another experiment that might be um, something that has to go overnight so yeah so it's it changes day to day it just depends on what I have to do sometimes when things are incubating I will go to like a seminar and um, listen to someone else's research um, or I would um, go to any type of workshop that would be beneficial to my professional development so sometimes I get time to do that um, I also spend my time like writing um, particularly right now I'm writing a committee report because I have a committee meeting coming up so I'm preparing my committee report and of course my presentation um, I spend a lot of time reading papers and that's pretty much my week <laughs> two places I like to study so obviously I spend the most of my time in the lab so I study here I read here I do everything here this is like my office this is my workspace this is everything for me um, sometimes when I need to get away from the lab I really like going to the West Lafayette Public Library and um, I really like the setup in there it's really quiet and they have lots of cubicles and I can kind of go in there and kind of lose track of time in reading and studying whatever it is I have to do. I'm very active in the community so I am a part of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated where with them I put together community programming that addresses anything from environmental stewardship to um, academic promise so I do a lot of community work um, in terms of uplifting community and um, creating awareness in our community. Um, also, I am very active in the graduate organizations here. Come in with an open mind. Um, be open to rotating in areas where you would not normally go. Um, rather that be plant science or neuroscience or cancer biology, which is what I do. I would just say come in with an open mind. Make sure you read about the different professors and the work that they're doing and just come prepared and dedicated to finish. I'm not quite sure. I kind of want to go into industry um, but there is a part of me a uh, passion that I found being here at Purdue and that being science policy particularly science education policy so um, hopefully I'll get the opportunity to uh, get a fellowship through like AAAS or um, NSF or NIH or something where I get to kind of explore this new passion in science policy.